Hello, and welcome to TWE's 12 Days of Festivities. I'm Josh, and today I'm going to be giving you some gift suggestions. I know it's a little bit late, but there's always that one person that you can never quite know what to get for. You spent, like, all November and all December looking around for gifts, but then you've been in and out every shop, and you've been scrolling through the internet for ever online shopping and still have not found anything for them. So I've came up with some of my favourite ideas that might just work for that special person that you're missing off of your Christmas list. Um, so one of my absolute favourite things is baked goods or like any homemade food because it involves food. And who doesn't love eating, like, especially on Christmas Day, that's what it's all about. So, if you just make someone a homemade baked good or their favourite meal, def that is a winner. I made my boyfriend hot chocolate bombs for Christmas, and if you don't know what they are, they've been, like, circulating TikTok, and they're basically balls of chocolate that you stick in some hot milk and as the chocolate melts it makes the most amazing hot chocolate. They look a bit like <laughs> they look a bit like this. And then you just stick that in some hot milk and there you've got a hot chocolate. And in return um he gave me some homemade jam. He did not make it though, his mum did, but um it was just a really lovely four and I had some this morning for breakfast and it was absolutely delicious. So if you make someone something homemade it just shows that you've really put the thought, time and energy into the present and it's a sure winner. Another um, favourite of mine is like scrapbooks or anything homemade because obviously you've spent time with it. But I think scrapbooks are just... I've got one here. This is... I did make this when I was about five, so that please excuse the um, appalling handwriting. But um, it just shows that you've put time and thought into it. And... Um, and this was actually my brother's drawing, not mine. And it's like a nice thing to look back on. Like during the holidays, after the holidays, and just all year round. And unfortunately due to lockdowns this year, we've not been able to go anywhere. So making a scrapbook of your past travels um, makes it feel like you're traveling this year, even though you can't. And it just means a lot. But if you're not a big fan of scrapbooks or don't have the time because there is only four days to go until the big day, you could just make them any type of artwork. Um, whether that's a little drawing like that one you can see in the background or a painting. Whatever level your craft skills are, whether it's like Vincent van Gogh, or it's like my awful drawing there. It will mean a lot to someone, especially at this time of year, so just um, do it, yeah. <laughs> Another thing you could get um, your special person is books, because obviously we're going to be spending a lot more time in lockdown. And also, there's not much else to do during the festive period, is there, because it's absolutely freezing inside. So, if you get them a nice book that you know they've been wanting, they can, like, snuggle up inside by the fire and just spend all day reading. I got these two um, for my birthday, and I'm absolutely in love with them. They feature... This one is about 
Nick and Charlie, who are a gay couple, so of course I'm all for it. And then this one is about um, Charlie's older sister, Tori, and um, the books kind of interlink with each other, and there's a lot, a lot more in the series, so this is definitely on my wish list. And if there's anyone watching who's still looking for me, I would love an Alice other men's books. I hope I'm saying that right. And look how just adorable the um, cover art is. You don't even have to be a massive book reader to just appreciate this, the pastelness on your shelves. I'm, in case you couldn't tell, a bit of a massive book there to me. And also, if you want to make, take the book to the next level, a signed edition is um, a winner, but if they're not a massive book fan, um, there's obviously different genres of books, those are more romance ones, or if they just don't like books in general, you could get them any look fun indoor activity to do throughout the winter period, like a jigsaw, an arts and crafts project, and then maybe next year they'll be making new scrapbooks, or if you know they like knitting or sewing or anything like that, they'll always be in need of more supplies, so definitely um, get them that, or if they're a writer themselves, get them a notepad. I love writing and I've got a stack of notepads in my cupboard. I've not used them all yet but I will. There will be a time. So notepads, anyone could use a notepad really so yeah. But if they're more into um, living trees then um, books or notepads than plants. Everyone loves a plant, as you can see. I've got one currently fighting for room in the background with my Christmas tree. I've also got this one here and there's just a sense of achievement when you've managed to keep a plant alive. I've had this since um, last summer, so almost, so I year and a half now and it's not died on me yet which is great and they just add more colour to your room yeah. Instagram has gone plant mad so any hip modern cool person would love a plant and if they're not um if they don't think they could handle I live in one and they haven't got that green form, you could again make them one as a, you can see back there um, above, above my mirror I've got a artwork one so yeah there's lots of different things out there that you can get that special person and don't stress too much about a present it is just a present and there's been so much distress about this year, it's not worth getting yourself worked up over something so simple. Whatever you get someone, they will be sure to love because you've taken the time to think about it. I mean, you've watched this whole video, so they can't say you haven't done the research. Um, after all, it is the thought that counts. So have a Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate. And stay tuned as we have more festive festivity videos coming out. Thank you. Bye.